You can now make your voice recording high quality for voiceover demos or ACX audiobooks with a simple preset. You do not have to configure anything, all effects are pre-configured and will work seamlessly. I have a voiceover recording here which is okay but not perfect for a voiceover demo. Let's listen to it a bit. In this section we learn the Audacity effect in detail. Audacity effects are the main features of Audacity. You can see all the effects from the effects menu. You can see the voice level is not perfect, and if I increase that, the noise will go beyond the accepted level. I recorded almost 4 seconds of room noise at the beginning. In the final audio, I will not need this much silent part. But having at least 3 to 4 seconds of noise at the beginning can help audition to perform better noise reduction. We can measure other levels like the peak and RMS and get an idea of how it is now. From window, choose amplitude statistics. It is currently empty. I will scan it to get an updated result. You can see the peak is around minus 12 which is quite low. It should be around and less than minus 3. Total RMS is also very low as it is around minus 27. In an ideal case, it should be between minus 18 to minus 23. I can fix all these issues with just a click. I have a preset configured that takes care of the loudness and the noise issue at once. From the effects rack, I will select Studio One Master Editor preset. I will tell you later where you can get this preset. It has all the necessary effects pre-configured. You do not have to configure anything. You can see a warning message and can ignore this message. If I apply this, all the effects will be applied, and I will get the final processed audio. You can now see the peak amplitude is minus 3.29 which is good. The RMS is around minus 19 which is also perfect. I would suggest RMS between minus 18 and minus 20 in Adobe Audition. Because other software like Audacity calculates the RMS in a slightly different manner. If you stay between minus 18 to minus 20 in Adobe Audition, it will also pass in Audacity. Let's play it for a moment to check the sound is okay. In this section we learn the Audacity effect in detail. Audacity effects are the main features of Audacity. You can see all the effects from the effects menu. It is okay, and I will export it and check in Audacity. I will choose the file format as WAV. The reason I am taking this to Audacity is to measure the noise floor in RMS. Audition does not show the noise floor data, and Audacity has a tool to show it. I will drag the exported audio to Audacity. I will select the audio and go to the Analyze menu. Through ACX check I can see the noise floor reading. It is all good in Audacity. However, I kept some longer parts in the beginning for better noise reduction. I can now delete the extra parts. I will only keep the amount of silent parts one need. I can also clean up audio from other places. Like I can remove long pauses and remove parts that I do not want to keep. If you remove any part after the processing, please make sure to check the ACX requirements again. It is okay, and this audio is good enough to share anywhere. You can get the audition preset from this Buy Me A Coffee page. You will also get the preset if you enroll in my Adobe Audition course. This course will teach you how to edit your audio perfectly in Adobe Audition. If you get the preset from the course, you will always get the updated version of the preset. In the future, I will add other presets, and those will be free for those who purchase the course. You can click the video on the screen to learn how to install the preset. The Buy Me A Coffee page description also has a link to this installation video.